Hello and welcome to the Watchman Channel. This prophetic word comes from Robert Hotchkin, Maricopa, Arizona. Clear out the clutter and the clatter. I tend to keep things fairly organized. One of my methods of organization is to use stacks and piles. That way, everything's not strewn about. I can look at a pile and know what it is. That stack over there is outlines for live streams and shows. That one is notes for Sunday messages. That one is bits and pieces for a next book. The stack is paid bills over there and that they need to be filed for year-end tax reporting. That one is book publishers have sent me to consider interviewing their authors. One day recently, I looked around my office and suddenly I had a sense that the stacks and piles were getting a bit much. It wasn't like I was at the hoarder level with heaps and heaps that were narrowing me out of my workspace, but I knew it was time to deal with them. Once I got done with the stacks in my office, I started to notice how things piled up on some of the bookshelves and end tables as well. All of a sudden, I, I had this strong desire to go through the entire house and sort out all the places where things had piled up. What began as a quick project to organize my office a bit ended up being an entire afternoon and evening of clearing and cleaning. I filled the back of my Jeep with sacks of our, for our local donation center. There was half a dozen large bags of books that I took to the church to give away to our members. Plus, I was well on my way to filling both our large recycling and trash bins. It was on the third or fourth trip out with the bins that I asked the Lord why I'd felt this sudden desire to deal with all of this. Immediately he spoke to me and he said, It's time to clear out all the clutter and the clatter. When he spoke, my whole body started to tingle and vibrate, so when I came back in from the bins, I grabbed a notepad and a pen, and I sat down on the couch. I waited for him to unpack a bit more, specifically asking what the clutter, what the clatter was. He let me know that clutter was anything that had been getting in our way. I could feel that this was not necessarily just sin issues, but anything that's been distracting us for taking up space in our minds and hearts, habits, practices, relationships, false comforts, anything else that's gotten out of order to the point of distraction. And just like that, the clutter I was dealing with in the natural, the, the clutter that the Lord was referring to it, it, as stuff that had piled up over the years, it, 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 it was at a point where we barely even notice how it has gotten all in our way. And at times, maybe it's kept us from him. It could be something as simple as having gotten into a habit of checking emails or headlines first thing in the morning which can often turn into an hour of dealing with correspondence or scrolling screens. This is, of course, instead of making him our first focus of the day. Or clutter could be some long-term issue we've been dealing with for some time. It, it has us more focused on the facts of the situation than is truth about the situation. He said that clatter, clatter were the thoughts, the words, the emotions that we allow that don't sound like Jesus or that violate the standards of love. He has made us in his image and after his likeness, and we are here to be representatives and representers of, of Christ. See Genesis 1, 26 through 28. Offense and bitterness, anger and discouragement, despair, murmuring, complaining, and cursing. They don't do that. They're clatter. Like the noisy gong or the clanging cymbal in 1 Corinthians 13, where the Apostle Paul talks about how we sound or what we sound like when we speak without love. The loveless clatter that we are being invited to, it, we must clear it out. It's not only our thoughts and words, however. He let me know that he's also referring to other sources like the murmuring and the complaining, the haranguing of media. This often gets us stirred up in negative emotions to the point that we are releasing more darkness into the darkness as opposed to shattering the darkness with his light. I sat for a bit to let all he had spoken sink in. I asked Holy Spirit for help in being aware of any clutter or clatter that I needed to clear up. It wasn't long after that the Lord spoke to me again. It will make room for the new that you have no idea is coming. How exactly is that? Well, we are on the cusp of something new, so big, so God, we, we really have no idea what's coming. And the way to get there is to respond to his invitation to clear out the clutter and the clatter. This is not a stern rebuke. Or, 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 a, or, you know, from a disappointed deity. This is the tender invitation from an expectant father who knows what is coming and longs for you and me to be a part of it. It's time to clear out the 
clutter and the clatter to make room for the new that we have no idea is coming. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, in Jesus' name, my friend and I, in response to this word, Lord, we we humbly ask you to search our hearts. Lord, search the things that we say, the things that we think, Father, the choices that we've made. Lord, will you help us to be aware, to be aware of anything that has become clutter and clatter in our lives, Father? Holy Spirit, deal with it. Help us to deal with it by the wonder-working power of the Holy Spirit. We ask you to always, always be with us. Empower us to seek first the kingdom of heaven. Lord, like it says in James, we draw near to you. We thank you that you promised to draw near to us. Lord, we want to be greater this year. We want to be more powerful. We want to be a representative of who you are, Father, here on earth. And we ask you, Lord, that you can help us. Help us to focus. Help us to remove the junk that needs to go out. And Father, help us to have a a, a clear perspective, a clear shift. Help us, Father, to have the space for you to enter in for all that you have for us. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.